And nine months into the pandemic, business owners are still struggling to keep up with the growing costs of operating. While grants from the government are now becoming the lifeline to keep doors open, many businesses are still waiting on that money. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live from Burrito Border, just one of these latest small businesses to get some help. Yeah, Channing, Dave Tur Turnett says that he's breathing a sigh of relief today, and that's because money from the Leon Cares Act will help bring his business into the new year by paying bills as well as paying his employees. The email burrito border owner David Turknet has spent months waiting on. Um, got up this morning and got an email from Leon Cares that we had been granted our grant, um, which was huge for us. We Leon County leaders estimate that nearly $18 million from Leon Cares will go to more than a thousand businesses by the end of the year. We've been able to work with the state and the federal government to get an additional $4.2 million that we're going to spend into 2021. The commission recently moved $11 million of the coronavirus relief funds from the Florida Housing Finance Corporation to pay nearly 90% of the remaining eligible applications for Leon Cares. We're going through right now, we are working around the clock, our staff, to review the applications and get uh, this relief out as, as soon as we can. Turknet is one of the people benefiting from that second wave of money. We um, didn't make it through the first round. We got all our paperwork in, but it was exhausted so quickly because everybody needed it. The money is not just providing support for businesses. Nonprofits like Tallahassee Youth Orchestra are getting some help too. How can we not do this? These kids need things that um, bring joy and allow them to participate together. That money will help cover unexpected costs from the pandemic, like relocating to a new space after their other was shut down. We started off planning our year around our normal involvement with FSU's College of Music and quickly for obvious reasons that became a problem for us and uh, the moon opened up their facility to us but that meant rental fees that we weren't used to. From businesses to nonprofits, the help is right on time. It overwhelms me the, 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 with what they've done, what the local government has, has done to step up and take care of local businesses. The process is now closed and the next phase depends on the U.S. Congress. Now, in the meantime, the county commission is working to get through all of those applications that were submitted before the deadline. Reporting live from Burrito Board of Jada Williams, ABC 27.